What's up friends, John here with Go Health Yourself. And um, I've been a pretty uh, avid music listener my whole life, but uh, the past, say, let's see, 12 years since uh, my injury, I've really uh, listened to music a lot and it's been a big help. Uh, it's helped lift my spirits in some pretty dark times throughout this uh, spinal, cord, spinal cord injury. And uh, if you've uh, experienced a spinal cord injury or any traumatic event, you know that um, there can some, be some pretty down times. So um, I'm going to go over 10 artists slash groups that have really uh, helped me over the past years. And it's great that we have YouTube because we can go on there and literally look at music that is pretty much anything that's been created is uh, essentially on YouTube, which is amazing. So Lately, I've been listening to EDM, so the first three uh, groups slash artists are um, uh, electronic dance music, progressive house, whatever you want to call it. Uh, the first one is Rufus Du Soul, and I believe that's how you pronounce it. Um, they are from Sydney, Australia, and I'm going to give you two of my favorite songs. I mean, all these artists have amazing songs, but I'll just give you the two that are some of my favorites. I mean, I have a lot of favorites of each artist, but so the first one is Rufus Du Soul, and um, a great song by them is called Underwater. And another one I like is called Always. And it, they're a pretty amazing group. I don't think they can make a bad song. They, it's, it's amazing. Their songs are very uh, visceral, like they give you a feeling. So highly recommend them. Uh, the second artist is Elderbrook. And uh, he's from London, UK, and uh, two of my favorite songs by him are uh, Down by the Bay and I'll Find My Way to You. Another amazing artist, pretty much all his songs are really, really good. Uh, the third artist is Ben Bomer. I think that's how you pronounce it. If I'm uh, butchering your, I'm not sure if I'm butchering your name or not, but uh, two great songs by him are weightless and breathing and he is from germany he's also edm so those are the first three um edm groups and artists that i really like that i've been listening to a lot if the past four weeks i've been just listening to like edm with other other uh genres of music here and there but i listen to all types of different music so uh the fourth is going to be a rap or hip-hop genre which i'm sure there's hip-hop fans out there i know there's a lot and um i try to look for i try to uh there is a lot of good mainstream music of course but i try to look for artists that are like you could say underground uh, not necessarily underground but are not so well known but their music is sometimes better so um the fourth artist is sylvan lequeux i don't know if you've ever heard of him and two great songs by him are grateful um, and uh, Best Me, and I'm gonna do three songs by him, uh, Loner as well, and he's out of Miami, Florida. He is an amazing lyricist. And um, let's see, the fifth one is Mick Jenkins. Uh, he's another amazing artist out of Chicago, Illinois, and uh, two great songs by him are Dehydration and Jazz. Another amazing lyricist, his songs are uh, pretty deep along with Sylvan's but uh, they're, they're both amazing artists let's see this the sixth one is uh, no name and she's also out of Chicago Illinois and she's her music is like poetry and she is is a poet too so that would make sense but her lyrics are awesome uh, two of my favorite songs by her uh, are reality check and casket pretty and um, she's also an amazing artist and then we'll get into like the rock, um, classic rock, rock genre. Uh, number seven is Terry Reed. I don't know if you ever heard of him, but he actually got offered a part to sing for Led Zeppelin before they found Robert Plant, which I thought was pretty amazing. But you, you could tell if you listen to Terry Reed, his voice is uh, something else, uh, definitely something special. And uh, two favorite songs of mine are Faith to Arise and seed of memory and let's see here let's see here 
We are on uh, number eight. So number eight um, is Kurt Vile. Um, let me know in the comments if you've heard any, of any of these guys too. So, um, but I highly recommend looking them up if you'd like to listen to music. Uh, so the, number eight is uh, Kurt Vile. And two of my favorite songs by him are Pretty, Pretty Pimpin' and Loading Zones. And he is just on another level too. Um, oh, I forgot to mention Terry Reed is uh, Terry Reed is from Saint Neots, uh, United Kingdom, and Kurt Vile is from from uh, let's see Lansdowne, Pennsylvania, and then uh, number nine is Idols, and they are from Bristol, United Kingdom, and they're like um, they're like I don't know what you would call the genre. They've been called a lot of different genres, but. Uh, I've heard like grunge and a, a couple like new age rock, a couple other things, but they're from Bristol, UK, and they're in a, they're, their music is very different, but it's uh, it's amazing as well. A lot of feeling and emotion involved with their music. Uh, two of my favorite songs by uh, Idols are Grounds and A Hymn, and like uh, some of the artists I mentioned before, Idols like can't make a bad song. They're Songs are amazing. And then uh, number 10 is not necessarily an artist, but it is a, uh, a New Orleans based record label called uh, uh, Putumayo World Music. And uh, they've got albums from all over the world, uh, world music, jazz and blues. And uh, two of my favorite albums by them are Cairo to Casablanca in Colombia. And those are the 10 uh, artists that um, I could think of, I mean, there's tons of them. I mean, I can make a video probably an hour long of all the music I, I listen to, but those are like the 10 that I've found over the past few years that I've really enjoyed their music. So hopefully they can help you uh, lift your spirits. And um, thanks for watching, guys. We're almost to um, 1K, uh, guys and girls. Um, we're almost to 1K and uh, that's really amazing. It's been a long road and, I'm, you know, I'm trying to make better content for you guys and I've got a couple things that I'm working on uh, behind the scenes that I've been pretty busy with so but I'll be consistently putting videos out on Sundays so uh, I'm gonna try to do two times a week and then go to three times and make that uh, content a little bit more interesting because it's definitely gonna get uh, a little better here so thanks for watching uh, subscribe if you are new to the channel like the video and comment and uh, I appreciate you guys all right, friends, stay strong, stay active, stay creative, and go help yourself, friends, over and out.